Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Mr. Green and I am so glad you could be here for my brand new Let's Play episode. We're going to start a brand new survival world today, guys. I've had some requests in the comments over the past couple weeks to start up a brand new survival world and I'm going to do that today. We are going to add one thing to the survival world. It's going to be a behavior pack that I created called Better Survival. This is actually available on mcpedl.com. If you guys want to go check that out, the link will be down in the description below. And uh, you guys can go get that, download it, try it out. It has a bunch of crafting recipes changed, a lot of furnace recipe changes, a lot of this and that. So it's, there's a whole list of stuff you guys are going to have to go check out over on the website. But... One very important thing to note, guys, if you want to have the extra ore feature and the structure feature, you will need to activate this right here, creation of custom biomes. You don't have to put this on if you don't want the extra ores and the structures. That is all that this will affect. So if you don't care about the structures generating your world and you don't care about having extra ore, don't worry about it. We are going to go ahead and start out our world with a bonus chest. I don't normally do this, but I have altered the bonus chest as well, so we're going to do it this time. And we're going to put in a start starting map. I usually do that anyway, just because having a starting map is very nice. And I think that's good to go, guys. So, let's go. So, we're going to load in. And, obviously, we picked a bonus chest. I'm not hating the spawn so far. Hey! We got lucky enough to get a uh, custom structure nearby. That is one of my structures that I built. So we'll go check that out here in a minute. But we got the bonus chest here waiting for us. All right, not bad. So all of these are different. It's a bonus chest, so it has a loot table of things that could possibly spawn inside of it. And we did not do bad. I have been getting the boots a lot lately. All right, let's go ahead and take our torches with us. And we're going to go straight over and check out the custom structure because, I mean, it's right there. Why wouldn't we? So this is part of the creation of custom biomes. If you guys turn this feature on, again, I would be backing up your worlds regularly because they do rec recommend that because it could have... Some problems with the gameplay due to experimental features or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Ultimately, with the creation of custom, I didn't change a lot. I really didn't change a lot, and I do not expect any serious issues to arise from it. So, I have not found anything personally. But this is actually called the Enchanter House. And um, kind of found him a lot earlier than I would have liked. But... If you find this, <laughs> you technically get a free nether portal, so that's awesome. We're going to be able to take that with us, and we got a nether portal already. And then as soon as you open this chest, you're going to spawn in the enchanter. And there he is. So we have four eyes of ender, <laughs> totem of undying, straight off the bat from the game. All right. And here's the enchanter. So he sells... All the enchanted books, I believe. Every type of enchanted book you can get in Minecraft. Basically, of a strong level. He doesn't sell, you know, like, Unbreaking 1, 2, 3. Nothing like that. He sells, like, a maxed out version of each enchantment. And some of them are stronger than normal. You can see we got looting 8. Efficiency, efficiency 5 is normal. Uh, unbreaking 10. Fortune 8. So... Hey, you guys can see he's got some kind of jacked up enchantments. And we get some fireworks and some green bucks. <laughs> uh, I'll take a name tag. Oh, can we? Oh, we don't have silk touch, so we can't even take that with us. That's right. We got to get silk touch. But starting off the game strong already with emeralds. <laughs> Name tags, book and quill. Um, yeah, not bad. 
Let's go ahead and take his chest too. Trap chest, but. And let's go down in the basement. Spoiler alert. <laughs> There's a basement, guys. The basement does have some other things as well. If you would like to take them. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I really don't care about that stuff. There's sugar and some water bottles. Yeah, so the basement's not the best. Can we just break out of here? <laughs> There we go. All right, so let's want to block this guy in here. Let's not use the wool. There we go. We'll block him in so that way he is safe. He's not going anywhere. And we'll be able to find him later when we need him because we will need him. So ultimately, my, my main rule when I make a survival world is I usually settle right near the spawn point. And it seems like that's going to actually work pretty well here. Because our spawn was right over here. And I think I can actually make a decent spot for myself over here. Just look at it again. Ooh. That's a swamp. Is there a witch hut over here? Could I get that lucky? <laughs> I couldn't, could I? Well, that's some weird textures with the grass. Um, I don't see a witch hut at first glance. We'll have to go explore a little bit more later, but... I really think I'm liking this spot back here. I really I really like to build in plains biomes. So I'm thinking like back here is actually probably going to be a great spot for me. Let me go scouting around for a little bit, guys. I'm going to try to find a good spot for myself to settle. And uh, we'll check back with you guys here in just a few minutes, all right? All right, guys. It seems like after doing a little bit of looking around in the swamp, I cannot find a uh, witch hut. So, I'm not thinking there is one. I mean, I'm not totally convinced. We will definitely look around more later. But for right now, I feel like this is going to be my spot. I think I like this area. I like this little spot in particular. Um, We got like a little cave kind of thing here going on that I'm going to check out. But ultimately, we need to start out with some resource gathering. As you guys know, the very first of any world, you're going to have to go around. We're going to have to get some logs. We're going to have to get some basic stuff to just survive. And we need to get ourselves a house started. So I think we're going to start a storage field right here. I don't know if you guys are the same as me, but when I start out a new world, I almost never actually put my storage stuff inside my first house usually my first house is a small little starter house that i don't put a whole lot of effort into and then i have a little storage room that's like in a field <laughs> so i'll have 10 or 15 chests just kind of hanging out in the yard and a little tiny house and i'll be yeah i i, I tend to resource gather a lot at the beginning and then I tend to spend a lot more in my end game you know after we've gone and fought the ender dragon and that kind of stuff then I start building pretty things but that's just me maybe you're different it's gonna be really weird though having a portal block <laughs> I've never started out a world with a, pro a portal block that that quick. Um, all right, we need to make a bed. It's getting dark. I'm scared. Look at this. Look at this crafting table, guys. <laughs> um, um, do I? Oh, I need more wood. More wood. I was like, I can make a bed. There we go. Um, one really cool thing about this world that I'm going to be 
super happy is creepers cannot spawn anywhere outside of the desert. That is a game rule that I put in, and I am very happy that it's a game rule, and yeah, I'm going to enjoy that a lot. <laughs> so let's throw my totem in here. Um, we're going to put a few things into the chest, and I am going to do just a lot of resource gathering. I'm going to spend the next probably 20 to 30 minutes walking around. Getting a bunch of different wood. I might do a small amount of mining. So we do already have a diamond pickaxe. So that's nice. Um, but ultimately I just want to walk around. And see what all I can get. Uh, we will take the map with us. We will. Oh, 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 oh. We will put down a couple of torches here. Just in case it gets dark. I want to be able to find our area a little bit better. So we'll put these down just so I know where we're at. And uh, I also want to show you guys this just because I think it's awesome. <laughs> I made a green box block. <laughs> All right. So I've been learning how to do the whole texture pack stuff lately. And yeah. So we got custom crafting tables, we have green lava, we got the grass sides. Uh, th there's a lot of different little things that I put into this small texture pack that I'm working on. Um, but ultimately, I'm trying to put together a green pack, basically, where I can alter a bunch of different things to have some cool green colors. So, And this is one of them. I get to have my logo as these are emeralds, technically. So... Hope you guys enjoy that. I'm going to start putting those into my maps where you trade with villagers. You're going to be able to start trading green bucks with villagers instead of actual emeralds. So just a small little change that I can make to hopefully make my content a little bit better. But like I said, guys, let me go do some resource gathering. Let me go get some stuff and uh, we'll be right back with you. So I managed to get a decent amount of wood here. We've been chopping down trees for a little bit. Just realized this, it is blended in very well, guys, but you can see it just up there on the tip of the mountaintop. One, another one of my custom structures, there is a tower up there that actually spawns in Zombie Steve. And I think it also has an infinity bow? inside of it if I remember correctly I cannot remember everything I did but zombie Steve spawns in which zombie Steve is ridiculously strong but then we could also have a chance to get some diamond gear and stuff which would also be diamonds so I'm about to go over there and see what I can do with them we're gonna have to go climb a big old mountain <laughs> and I don't have hardly any gear is this a bad idea, guys? Let's go. All right, we made it up here, guys. It's not the easiest, honestly. That was kind of a big, uh, big mountain. 
But this is another one of the custom structures that can spawn into the world. It is the tower. I, I don't have any real names for these guys, so you're going to have to excuse me. Got it buried just a little bit here, it looks like. Um, But yeah, it looks like a little, little hermit's been camping here. And if you go up to the top, you have Zombie Steve. Ah! Oh my god, he jumped! <laughs> I didn't think he was going to jump on me! Oh no! <laughs> Oh, good God, Steve. <laughs> Steve, you got to calm down, bro. Where'd he go? <laughs> Dude is strong. Where'd he go? There he is. All right. Keep him in that cobweb. Strategy. <laughs> Stay in there, zombie. No. You ain't getting out. Stay in there. Good God, the dude's strong. Woo. Oh, sh hey. There we go. Oh, we got Steve's diamond sword. That's awesome. Okay. Um, it's almost broken. But those are a nice pair of boots, and those are not almost broken. That's awesome. So yeah, zombies can now drop either gold nuggets or iron nuggets, or both, I guess. And rotten flesh can be cooked into leather. So if you kill a zombie while it's on fire, you will get leather instead of rotten flesh. Um, can we get down? Oh no, we totally forgot to... Uh, <laughs> I got excited. There should be a bow up here. We could definitely use a bow. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, infinity and unbreaking. So, it's not a strong bow, but... There we go, we got some awesome horse armor. I don't really care about these arrows. I don't know if you guys do. Definitely take that, though. That's like a free cure kit. For a zombie villager. Um... So this is pretty cool. We can actually see our entire area from up here. I'll point it out to you guys. This is pretty much the main area right there. That's where I'm going to be living. Hopefully. If all goes according to plan. This is the swamp that I was hoping had a witch hut. But I do not see one. Again, we will, we will go exploring it a little more in depth later on. And maybe we can find one. Plus there's another swamp right over there. So maybe there's a witch hut. Over there, we can only hope. Um, I do very much like witch huts just because I love witch farms because they are an amazing source of gunpowder. And uh, glowstone, redstone, there's there's just a lot of great things about a witch farm. Um, so yeah, let's head back over to our house. And uh, we're going to have to do a little more resource gathering. I am waiting for some trees to grow. And we'll be back with you guys shortly. I've been looking all over for this wandering trader for just a few minutes now, and I cannot find him. I... I don't know where he is. He's gotta be over here somewhere. He's like right here. But he's not. Oh, hello, Cave. Okay. 
I was like, I hear him. I like, he's here. Where is he? I I gotta know. Why did you spawn in a cave rather than on the? How? Oh, so this guy is a lot better. He's been changed. Um, he sells some pretty awesome things now. Um, nothing that I think I need right this second. And that's what else is really cool is you can now make money from the watering trader. So you can sell him one item every time. He will always sell these two items at the bottom. So he will always have fireworks and he will always have totems of undying for sale. He will always have one kind of sapling. He will always have three different kinds of spot eggs. He will always have two different kinds of books. Um, he will always have one kind of, like, a, a pickaxe, a trident, a sword, some sort of, like, weapon or tool item here. Um, it can also be enchanted. And he will offer two different kinds of concrete. And then all of this stuff up here circulates through. So everything above the concrete powder will actually change every time. And like I said, all these will change as well. It'll just be a different kind of spawn egg or a different kind of enchanted book or a different kind of, you know, tool. So he is a lot more useful now. I don't remember if I made him drop anything. I don't think so. But that is definitely something I could put in. Where is my... There we go. Alright, let's get out of this little cave. So I'm curious, how many of you guys out there have been exactly like me in the past and have gotten to the point of where you are ready for your enchanting table, right? But you need a lot of books or bookshelves. Book, yeah, bookshelves, books, whatever that is. So a lot of leather and a lot of paper, right? Now, leather is not that hard to get, really. I guess that's just killing a lot of cows or horses or llamas, whatever you want for leather. But ultimately, wouldn't it just be easier if you could take a resource that you just have a ton of all the time and just throw it in the furnace and make it useful? Because I think that'd be really nice. I don't know about you guys. And another thing that just kind of makes sense to me is ordinarily, can't you take like, don't, don't they make paper out of wood? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's something that they do, right? Okay, guys. So I think this might be the best spot to cut it for today. I know we didn't get a whole lot done, but honestly, that's going to be a lot of what I do between this episode and next episode is I need to do a lot more resource gathering. I need to explore a little more, see what around is around my area. I need to see what's available to me, and we need to also get ready to start building a house. Don't worry, we will not start building the house or any of that kind of stuff without you guys, so you will not miss out on that. We will be back next episode to do that, um, and yeah, most likely next episode we will come back and we will just start building the house because I should have lots of resources by then. I need to get myself a good amount of spruce wood, which obviously is going to take a little bit of time if I'm going to be growing it without any bone meal, so... But if you like this kind of content, guys, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, make sure you get notified of the next video, and we will be back next time to start work on the house, guys. And until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and happy building.